That's very well. Just in the last few minutes, NHK first reported uh, that uh, former Prime Minister Shinzo Abe had indeed died from the attack earlier on in the day, and several other uh, Japanese media are now reporting uh, the same thing. Uh, he was just a 67-year-old a veteran politician. Uh, he was both a popular and a polarizing figure. Now, it's been six and a half hours since he was shot. Uh, he, he has reportedly been uh, in a state of cardiac and respiratory arrest ever since then. And now it's, uh, his death has now been confirmed. Now, earlier Prime Minister Fumio uh, Kishida said that Mr. Abe was extremely uh, in in extremely grave condition and he was holding back his tears uh, trying to contain himself and saying that he was sincerely hoping that he would survive uh, unfortunately it did not happen um, the shooting happened in broad daylight at around 11:30 local time as the former prime minister as you said was in nara campaigning uh, for a candidate uh, from his uh, liberal democratic party ahead of sunday's elections he was standing in front of a crowd uh, outside a train station uh, in Nara, about 400 kilometers west of uh, Tokyo. Uh, that's when a man, uh, the suspect, uh, holding, um, hiding among the crowd, shot him from behind. Uh, it is believed that he, that Mr. Abe received bullets uh, in his uh, chest and neck, and he was seen bleeding from these places uh, as he was taken to hospital. He was airlifted uh, right away uh, to a regional hospital and had been treated uh, there for the last six hours. Yeah, and Yuka, what more can you tell us about the suspected uh, gunman that was arrested? Well, what we know now is that a 41-year-old uh, suspect has been uh, arrested. He was actually arrested, uh, detained on the spot, and uh, what appeared to be a handmade or hand-modified uh, weapon was found uh, on the ground after he was detained by security officers there. Um, now, it, it is also reported uh, that he told the police that he was unhappy uh, with uh, the prime minister, with the former prime minister Shinzo Abe, uh, with his conservative agenda um, and that he uh, wanted to attack him with the intention indeed to kill. Now the suspect, it is believed that he um, had worked uh, he had served in the Japanese self-defense forces, the Marine self-defense forces, for several years until 2005. Uh, it is not clear what exactly he was uh, uh, he was doing today but, uh, but it is believed that it was a local resident who lived in Nara. All right. And you could remind us, I mean, Japan, a very safe country, prides itself for that. What's some of the reaction been so far to today's shooting? Well, the, the, it's, it's been an emotional day and certainly very shocking uh, to the nation. I mean, Japan is not immune to crimes. Crime rates are, uh, are very, very low compared to other countries. And also arrest rates uh, are also, and conviction rates are high. Uh, however, just uh, in the last 24 hours, there was another um, incident where a uh, where two teenage girls were uh, attacked by a, gun, a, a man holding a knife. Uh, they were just slightly injured. Uh, these things happen, but it is very rare for a gun attack to happen. First of all, it is very, very difficult to own a gun in Japan. Um, it's, uh, it's very limited. It's only uh, people like, apart from security uh, officers, it is a uh, limited number of professions and people uh, like hunters who are allowed to carry or own a gun. And then to use it, it's, under, uh, it's limited under very strict conditions. So gun violence is always, a sh is always shocking news uh, to uh, the Japanese public. And this time, especially because it, uh, it targeted a popular uh, uh, an influential politician in broad daylight during an election campaign. Indeed, uh, Prime Minister uh, Kishida earlier said that it was an attack. He, he described the attack as an attack, a direct attack on democracy.